Principles of Sports Nutrition. Fats. Fats or lipids, like carbohydrates, are composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. They are relatively water-free and are characterized by their water insolubility, which is due to the nonpolar bonds that hold their atoms together. Now, they're similar to carbs. Of course, they're a food source in our diet. But unlike carbs, fats are essential. Fats transport the fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E and K, and all of these are essential. Fats can represent up to 40% or more of the body's organic matter, depending, of course, on the body composition of the individual. They comprise a distinct and structurally essential component of a lean, healthy adult body weight and are classified into four distinct groups. Number one, triglycerides. Number two, eicosanoids. Number three, phospholipids. And number four, steroids. Other lipid-related substances found in the body include the lipoproteins, glycolipids, prostaglandins, carotenoids, the essential fat-soluble vitamins I already mentioned, A, D, E, and K, and of course, the absolutely critically important essential fatty acids and several lipid soluble related compounds such as coenzyme Q10 and alpha lipoic acid. During periods of rest, about half of the energy required to sustain the muscles, liver, and other vital tissue is derived from the breakdown of fatty acids. Most cells contain small quantities of fat but specialized cells called adipocytes are designed to synthesize and store most of the body's fat directly. Body fat exists in two primary depots. Adipocytes form clusters known as adipose tissue, which is found in deposits just under the skin, around internal organs, and intermingled with muscle. We live in a fat-phobic society. People avoid fat and the essential nutrients that fat provides, and that leads to disease and all kinds of mental and emotional problems. Excess body fat is a liability. It increases all-cause mortality, and it's not caused by consuming the right kinds of fats. It's essentially caused by consuming the wrong kinds of fats, trans fats and fried foods and excess amounts of refined carbohydrates and essentially not understanding how to supply your own biological demand coupled with a lack of physical activity and a dedication to training and sport. We have to embrace the fats. We have to invite them into our lives. We have to understand their function. And when we do, we will overcome all of the fear that most people have towards something they cannot live without.